Hello and welcome to a demonstration of uh, Simpsons Quake. It's basically just a modification of the original Quake 1 with Simpsons voices. There's a few new models and and things put in. As you can see here, it's going to load a little bit of the Simpsons tune for a second. And then we're going into, this is the new version which has the Saturn Quake music in the menu. We we'll start a new game right here. It will look exactly like normal Quake 1, just with Simpsons character voices. Now, um, this was a request. Uh, Neo SNK. As you can see here, I have the task the um, status bar minimized, that increases frames per second. <laughs> you see there's a silly sound effects from the uh, Load times are not too bad since this mod has a lot of wave files basically. So, we're just about to get into the first level easy. So, the sound effects go off at random times, also when you're hit and stuff like that. As you see there, that's a new model for the dog. <laughs> so, basically Quake 1 with Simpson sound effects and a few new models. Anyway, as you can see... <laughs> As you can see here, um, with the status bar minimized, the frame rate is very nice. I'll let Homer do the talking now. Now as we go in the option menu here, I'm going to show you how to change the status bar. As you can see there, now I put the status bar on, it has the Homer Simpson face and different models. Frame rate will decrease when the status bar is being drawn on top. Um, because it's drawn on top the same amount of frames of seconds that you move. But I put it on there so you can see. That's how it comes to default when you run it. But if you go into the, the video menu and take the status bar away, and have auto config saving on, you won't have to do it ever again. Here being a silly girl, I missed one of the buttons. As you can see, um, certain things on the game, items, trigger, character voices. This should provide adequate sustenance. <laughs> this should provide adequate sustenance. So, um, I'm going to be doing proper playthroughs of some of the, my favorite mods. As you've seen at the start, there was a whole list that I'll be doing. Um, this is just a quick demonstration with commentary of it working on the Dreamcast from a CDR with Radquake Final 5.0. It does bring some humor to Quake. I gotta say. So we're going to the options menu here. We're going to the video the status bar. As you can see you can move it anywhere you want. The height and everything. If it's cut off on your television screen or VGA box, you can move it to suit. And you can turn up the brightness, which I do here. And you see it saves to the VMU the config. That's a new model in the game from this modification of Simpsons Quake Dreamcast.
Now this mod was not done by me, I don't know who it was done by, but it was sold on Fleabay as like a full game. So, yeah, it was, there you go. <laughs> Cans of dust being thrown in. Is about to go down. So, um, you know, there's a lot of mods that work very well. As we go back into the um, uh, options menu here. I'm going to show you the customization. Now these are the settings you want so you don't get dizzy. Okay? These will make the analog stick proper so you can play it. Alright. Status bar off. That gives you the most frames per second. There we go. might notice I'm a little tired today, but I thought I'd do the video and the commentary. You can do your player setup. And what else can we do here? You go to the console, you change it, everything just like you could on PC Quake. <laughs> Alright, thank you, this has been Ian Michael, it's a request oh on the PC Talk forum to show it running. Thank you very much, see you in a future video.